guys, welcome back to my channel, Life Literacy Right. Um, the baby's helping me today. So we are celebrating Christmas Eve today because of my son's timeshare exchange schedule. We're doing it a little bit early. And I thought I would share with you guys some of the quick, simple, kind of frugal meals we're making today uh, to feed our family. And I'm also gonna meal prep um, a dinner for tomorrow, Christmas Day, that will be ready to go. I can just pop it in the oven tomorrow evening because I don't like to do a lot of cooking on Christmas um, because I spend all my energy cooking a big Christmas breakfast. So sometimes this is how it has to happen. My kids like to be right underneath me <laughs> when I'm doing this stuff. Maybe you're the same way. Um, so I've got Eden here in a chair and honestly she's just playing in our utensil drawer. And that's probably gonna keep you happy, right? Okay, so our recipe. Although I'm realizing now this may not be the quietest activity for you. <laughs> you give me those. Uh-uh, Missy. We're gonna remove anything sharp or dangerous from her area of play. All right, you just have fun. So I'm gonna do a crock pot meal today for uh, Christmas Eve. Uh-oh, no, no, don't touch. No, no, just leave it, leave it. We're gonna do a crock pot meal for our Christmas Eve dinner. And this is all it's gonna have in it. It's really simple, it's uh, chicken tacos. So you're gonna use a cup, of, <clears throat> excuse me, a cup of salsa. So I'm not even gonna use all of this. I'm gonna save what's left for our meal. You're gonna need uh, some chicken breasts, obviously. We get the big pack of these from Sam's Club um, or Costco, depending on whichever has the cheaper price. And I don't know, how much would you say is in one of these, Justin? It's usually four or six, um, like, pages no. of like that's two chicken breasts. Two chicken breasts, okay. So it's probably about a pound of chicken. Um, and then I'm gonna need taco seasoning. So we just have the big one that we always use uh, from. An onion and two cloves of garlic. That's it, that's all that's going in. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put my one cup of salsa in the crock pot. So just one cup of salsa, just dump it straight in your crock pot. Yeah, we're doing the first ingredient. Can I have the lid? Uh-oh, can I have the lid? Thank you, thank you. All right, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna chop up a whole onion small, you're gonna dice it. You don't have to saute it or anything. You're just gonna put that in there on top of your salsa and your garlic and then your one tablespoon of taco seasoning. And then you're just gonna lay your chicken breasts over top of it all. Uh-oh, no touch. <laughs> and then you're gonna turn your crock pot on low for like four or five hours. No touch. We're practicing. No touch. No, no. No, no. <laughs> yes. This is an onion. Are you ready? You ready to put this in? No, you're not ready. You ready to put this in here? Okay, so we gotta chop it up. You wanna watch mommy chop? Here we go. So I'm gonna cut off the ends of my onion. I usually just do that so it's not so much onion in the recipe, but the onion will give it a lot of flavor as it cooks in the crock pot. And so you don't shred or cut your chicken at this point later once it's cooked, mostly. Um, you will go in and you will shred the chicken finely to go into your tacos. Onion. Mommy's chopping it. You see? Ah, move your fingers. No fingers. You can hold this one. Can't be near my knife. Let's do the other part. You ready? Let's do the other half of the onion. We're just gonna give it a quick chop. Super easy, super simple. In our crock pot and it's ready to go. Because as you guys can tell, I don't have a lot of time to be spending over the stove. 
and my husband is currently moving around behind me, getting lunch ready for the kids, because they are, of course, getting hungry. Uh, that is going to be a simple mac and cheese with some leftovers from last night. We had kielbasa. It's like a sausage, Polish sausage with potatoes. And we're going to revamp that for them to have today. All right, so, so far, all I've done, salsa, onion, super simple. Her hair is sticking up because I tried to put it in a ponytail. And now uh, it is, you know, it's to keep it in shape. Okay, onions done. Are you ready for the garlic? This is a fun part. Ready for the garlic? So in our family, you can never have enough garlic. So we're gonna do, I said two cloves. I'll probably put four in our crock pot, but if you don't like garlic as much, don't do it. And then we use just this garlic press from Pampered Chef. You just put your garlic in there and you press it and it comes out. See? Squeezing out the end. <laughs> Is that weird? Weird looking. Okay, and I'm gonna put that right in the crock pot. You don't even have to peel them with this press. You just, once you open it, I don't know, the peel stays inside and the garlic presses out. So let's do the next one. That's two, and then I do take my knife and I scrape it off. Uh, yeah, you see the dinner? We're getting dinner ready. All right, here's my third clove of garlic. Oh goodness, this one's hard. Okay, sometimes I have to like really put muscle into it. Oh. <laughs> that one is being stubborn, so I'm gonna scrape it off my uh, chopping mat. Okay, and if you're interested like what kind of stuff I use to cook, my regular things, my knives are from Ikea. My crock pot or rock and crock is from Pampered Chef. Uh, and we really like that because this part is removable and you can saute things on the stove with it and then put it right in your crock pot. It can also go in the oven. It can also go in the fridge. So I'm not like a Pampered Chef ref or anything. I just know that I like the product, so. All right. And there's our fourth clove of garlic. Sweet, so we're gonna have nice garlicky chicken breast. Okay, the last thing I do is I take the chicken breast out, I'm gonna put it on top of everything. Get garlic, you get garlic on your hands. And I put the taco seasoning on the chicken breast so that it's like more flavorful instead of just mixing it in with everything else. Um, and then I kind of give the ingredients a little bit of a stir over the chicken. And then I turn it on and I leave it going for four and a half hours. Four and a half, five, depends on how fast your crock pot cooks. All right, so we're pulling out our chicken breast. Mine are actually still frozen together because we keep our meat frozen. And I am not even going to worry about separating them, guys. I'm just going to pull them out as is, place them in here. Last step is to add your tablespoon of taco seasoning. Okay, I can't even get it. <laughs> the cap open so I'm just gonna reach in I do kind of a heaping tablespoon guys don't be like shy on this and I just really coat the chicken really well on that so that it will just be very flavorful while it's cooking so you guys can see um, and then all I'm gonna do and I know it doesn't seem like there's a lot of moisture in there with just the cup of salsa but trust me there is, and it's gonna, it's gonna just cook really flavorful. Um, I'm actually not gonna stir it. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna put the lid on. Scoot this thing back. And I'm gonna set it on low. And it'll be about ready around dinner time. I'll check it around like, let's see, it's one o'clock now. So about four o'clock, um, maybe five o'clock. We'll check this. 
And then the last thing I want to tell you guys about is our side that goes with it. Um, which is the best queso I've ever had. And it's thanks to my really good friend, Rachel. She's the one that gave me this recipe. So I cannot take credit for it, but it is three ingredients. It's the most simple queso you've ever made. And I'm just gonna share that with you guys and happy cooking to you all. So here's the queso recipe. So here are the three ingredients. Um, it is simply, I get Jimmy Dean's all natural sausage and you just cut this open and brown it and kind of crumble it in a skillet. You leave all of the, um, what's that called? The fat? The fat, the fat yeah. <laughs> you leave all of the fat in there. I guess if you were being health conscious, you could pull it out, but it does kind of help flavor this, so it's up to you. Um, so we leave it in there, and then the only other two ingredients are cream cheese, yeah. That's the only cheese in this queso, which is incredible to me, and a can of Rotel. So I get the mild because I don't like spicy, but if you love a spicy queso, you could get the medium and you could get spicy sausage. But I've tried that once and I am a spice wimp. I can't handle it. So we get mild um, with diced tomatoes and green chilies, and this is one my kids will eat too because it's not spicy. And then we have, I had two blocks of cream cheese. So you just, all you do is you dump this can in the skillet with the sausage, and then you put the blocks of cream cheese in. They could be softened or they could be from the fridge. It's up to you because the, the heat in the pan, you're gonna just keep stirring until the cream cheese is melted and the sausage and the rotel are all mixed in on mild heat. And then you have this amazing queso dip to go with your meal or just eat it by yourself. I don't I don't judge. I love this queso. Um, so that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Again, when these tacos are done, we're going to shred them around four o'clock. Just keep them in the sauce that's in the pan. It keeps them very flavorful. You add them into some taco shells, add your own toppings, lettuce, cheese, sour cream, beans, whatever you want to add, veggies even. Um, but it's such a versatile dish that was so easy. Again, the ingredients and I'll show you. I'll put them in the link below this video, but I often write like ingredients on my fridge in chalk marker, um, just cause it's easy for me to remember. So I have one cup salsa, one chopped onion, two cloves garlic, I did four, and one tablespoon of taco seasoning. And that's 440 now. And this is what our chicken looks like. It's been cooking the last couple hours. And my husband's gonna get in there with two forks and he is gonna shred it. Um, you could also, if you want, just double check, make sure it cooked all the way through. Yeah, looks great. Um, you can also uh, pull it out of the crock pot to shred if you want and then put it back in, shred it on a plate. Just be careful not to scratch our pot. <laughs> so we're just shredding it in here. Now your tacos, they'll have, so this has a lot of juice and liquid. Um, and I don't know, it's up to you. I use like a slotted spoon to pull off the meat when I put it on the tacos to kind of strain it. I like to keep it in that juice to keep it just full of a flavor. But you could also drain some of this juice if you just really want more of a drier chicken for your tacos. But this chicken keeps so well. It keeps all, um, you know, you could have this all week in the fridge to put on like salads or different things, but we just love this crock pot chicken meal for our tacos. So we're gonna shred this, we're gonna put it back, we're gonna put the lid back on and let it maybe just kind of simmer on low for about 20, 30 minutes. Um, and then we're gonna also switch, we have a setting down here uh, that goes to warm. So we're gonna go to warm until all of our guests and everybody's ready to eat it. Doesn't that look yummy? So delicious. And we're about ready to make our queso because it's uh, finally time and we wanted that fresh. All right, so there's the sausage for our queso. We're gonna brown that. Then we're gonna add the Rotel and the cream cheese. So we're just browning the sausage until it's completely cooked. 
We're using our cast iron. You could do this in any skillet. We did not add any oil or butter or anything to the pan, just straight up brown it. You're gonna add the rotel. We've got the other two ingredients. Today, guys so hopefully that helps you all come up with a meal plan and thank you guys for watching and we'll be making a few more videos like that this week bye everybody